Dressing objects from the surrounding. Hello, friends. I am Mr. Hand. Friends, do you like listening to stories? Yes? So listen carefully. There was a rabbit. He had grown very good carrots in his farm. One day, he went to meet his king brother. But when he returned, all of the carrots from his farm were missing. When he saw this, he immediately called his friend, the clever fox. When the fox looked carefully at the farm, he found two types of traces of feet. Looking at those two traces of feet, the fox immediately told the rabbit, Look, the deer and the horse came in your farm. Hey, but how did you know that? Just look carefully. These dresses match the dresses of deer's feet and these dresses match the dresses of horse's feet. Oh, so these two have taken away all the carrots from my farm. See, friends, the fox identified who came to the rabbit's farm only by looking at the traces of the feet. Friends, we can also identify the objects in our surroundings by tracing them. So, let's learn tracing objects from the surroundings with the help of tall man and thumpkin. Hello, I am thumpkin. And I am tall man. Friends, today we will put the objects in our surroundings on the paper and dress them with a pencil. And yes, we will also see which shape we would get after tracing those objects. First of all, we will put this conical shaped birthday cap on a paper and dress it. Look, the base of this birthday cap is circle. So, we will get a circle shape when we trace its base. Now, we will dress the dice. Here, this dice's base is a square. So, we will get square shape when we put it on paper and trace it. Now, let's see that which shape would we get when we dress this pyramid-shaped toy. The base of this toy is a triangle. So, we will get triangle shape when we trace it. Friends, can you all guess which shape would we get when we trace this pencil box? Let us trace this pencil box too. The base of pencil box is rectangle. So, we will get rectangle shape when we put it on paper and trace it. Now tell me, which shape would we get when we trace this mirror? The base of this mirror is oval. So, we will get oval shape when we put it on paper and trace it. So, today we traced the objects in our surroundings and got the shapes like circle, square, triangle, rectangle and oval. Yes, so friends, remember that when we trace any object, we will get the shape according to its base. We will meet again in the next video. Bye! Hello friends, when we trace any object, we will get the shape similar to its base. So, today we learned tracing objects from the surroundings. In the next video, we will trace some more objects from surroundings and understand the shapes when we trace those objects.
friends in the last video after watching the story of the rabbit and the fox we learned to identify the traced feet and also learned how to trace objects from surroundings in this video along with thumbkin and tall man we will understand the shapes we get when we trace the objects from the surroundings friends did you practice tracing of objects yes so now tell me which shape would we get when we trace these solid shaped blocks first of all we will keep hexagon pyramid on a paper and trace it the base of this hexagon pyramid is hexagon friends you know what when we trace any object the shape we get will be the same as the base yes so when we will keep this hexagon pyramid on paper and trace it we will get the hexagon shape now we will trace the square pyramid here the base of the square pyramid is square yes we will get square shape when we will trace this pyramid look this is a cylindrical shape the base of a cylinder shape is a circle so we will get a circle shape when we trace the cylinder shape yes so when we trace these solid shapes we will get the shapes hexagon square and circle according to their bases now let's look at another example look which shapes would we get if we will put this bowl and glass straight and upside down and then trace them if we keep the bowl and glass straight like this their base is a circle yes so if we keep the bowl and glass upward and trace them then we will get the circle shape now if we will keep the bowl and the glass upside down like this then the base of the bowl is square and the base of the glass is a circle if we keep the bowl facing downward and trace it then we will get the square shape and if we keep the glass facing downward and trace it then we will get the circle shape you are right so if we keep the bowl straight and trace it then we will get a circle shape and if we keep it upside down and trace it then we will get a square shape and if we keep the glass straight and trace it then we will get a small circle shape and if we keep it upside down and trace it then we will get a bigger circle friends in this video we understood the shapes we get when we trace objects from our surroundings in the next video we will understand some interesting facts relating to tracing with the help of thumbkin and tall man friends in the last video you understood the shapes we get when we trace objects from the surroundings today we will understand some interesting facts related to tracing objects hey tolman look this is cube shaped toy and this is cuboid shaped toy now tell me which shape would we get when we trace these cube and cuboid shaped toys hmm let's keep these toys on a paper and trace them if we keep this cube toy on paper and trace it then we will get a square shape like this and if we keep this cuboid toy on paper and trace it then also we will get a square shape like this Oh but why do we get the square shape when we trace both these toys because the base of these two toys are square 
and we have traced both the toys with their base yes i understood let's now change their base and keep both the toys like this now tell me which shape would we get when we will trace these two toys hmm if we keep this cube toy on paper and trace it then we will get the square shape like this and if we keep this cuboid toy on paper and trace it then we will get the big square shape like this oh tolman we will get the square shape if we will trace this square toy but when we trace this cuboid toy we do not get a big square shape but we get a rectangle shape hey but how will we identify this square and rectangle shape look carefully the measurements of the sides are the same in this shape so this is a square and in a rectangle shape this is a rectangle shape in a rectangle the measurements of the opposite sides are the same yes Now I understand it very well that the shape we get when we trace the cuboid is not a big square but it is a rectangle. Yes, so Dolman, remember that if we will keep the cube shaped toy in any way and trace it, then we will always get the square shape. And if we will trace the cuboid shape then we will always get either a square or a rectangle shape yes so friends today in this video we learned some interesting facts related to the cube and cuboid shaped objects from our surroundings friends now you will be able to identify the square and rectangle very well right Yes, very good. Friends, in the next video, we will learn to identify different shapes we will get when we trace the objects from our surroundings.